Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Somebody come here, you think the white man is telling you who your history is. The white man knows that you are great. That's why he will not teach us our history. Why is it that our, hi our, our history started when we came here as slaves? Why is it that no account of our history have been taught to us that predates slavery? Because the white man and the Chinese man knows that you are great. He knows that, you know what the, the, the FBI chairman said? He said that the greatest threat to the white man and the nations or to America is black unity. Black unity. So it's really a simple thing. Our people have a simple mind that you don't know your history. And the fact that you don't know your history, you should want to seek to know your history. And someone comes along and says, you know what? That's a pamphlet teaching you your history. You should be interested in that. But the Bible says what? Fools hate knowledge. That's what our mind is. Our mind is foolish. Because the things that we go around and glorify, the things that we pay attention to, aren't things that will uplift ourselves. Aren't things that, that, will, that will build unity and wholesome relationships in our society. Right? The things that we glorify, the conversations that we have, aren't constructive. Some big, great, big, uh, great old man, they, they just take life, they don't take life serious. They go around and they giggle. And they talk about how much sexual conquest they have had. How much baby mother you have. Right? And you giggle and you talk about cricket and you talk about football and you talk about video games. That should not be the mentality of our men. Our men should rise up to deal with real problems, sister. Sister, are you married? Sister, you man, you man in the pink. Are you married, sis? So the fact that our women are out here, I'm sure you have children, right, mommy? Sister, you are my sister, I'm dealing with you. I'm sure you have children, and I know you won't let your child stay at home and, and, and hunger. That's why you're out here and you're, you're hustling to get a dollar. Because what? The fathers aren't, the father is not there, right? Be real. The father is not in the house. You see that? I can take a simple guess. Because, sister, this is not to put you in a bad light. This is about real problems. And we need real men to deal with real problems in our society. And that's what the churches aren't doing, my sister. That's why we come out here with the solution, the example. God, you know what's going to change us? What's the balm we need to heal? The Bible, the real teachings of Christ. And the example of real men to guide the house, to get a job, to take care of the women, because all the man them want to do is go around and, she, and, and just be led by their loss. Right? So therefore, the men should be in the house, because you should be at home taking care of the children. But because there's no man in the house, that's why you have to out here. The women are, have it really hard. Right? So we need real men to stand up and deal with our women the right way. That's right. Right? Look at that right there. I couldn't tell if that was a man or a woman. Right? So these are problems in our society. These are problems. We're going to speak out against it. Our people must repent. The Bible stresses on repentance and the changing of the mind. That's what the Bible stresses on. Read it again. And fools hate knowledge. The Bible says only a fool will be given the access to infamy because nowadays we're, we were forbidden to read. We were forbidden to read back in slavery. Nowadays we have all the information but the oppressor will not teach you your, 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 your history. Your history is there. It's being hidden 
in plain sight. But the black man have to read. You have to search. The Bible says, search and know of your forefather. Let's get that. Let's go to Job. Where is that again? Is it um, Job 8 and 8? Job 8. Huh? Job 8 and 8. Let's read that. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire. So you see what the Bible says? For inquire. Why is that our people came here in slavery? Who were we before slavery? Who are our fathers in the Bible? Which nation are we in the book? Right? The Bible says what? For inquire. Inquire means to ask. Find out. Inquire. Ask the right questions. When you go to church, all you know is to beat, beat, um, dance to the drum beat. Be in tambourine and sing and give your, half, give your money to the pastor. That's all, you, that's all you know. That's all you learn. Right? So read it again. For inquire. So the Bible says, Virgin, inquire. Find out. Read. I pray thee of the former age. You know what the Bible says? Inquire of the former age, Virgin. Who were our people before slavery? Who, why are we in the conditions that we are in? The Bible says, inquire of the former age before slavery. Right? Who were we in the Babylonian Empire? Who were we in the Assyrian Empire? Do you know that the Chinese man can tell you who he was? The Chinese man can explain to you different dynasty of his people. The history and the rich history of their people. But what can the black man do? The black man don't know a thing. All the black man knows is to play video games. Right? It's to go and glorify to another brother. How much woman in bang. That's the things we glorify in. Right? How the boy did this and what you do to the boy there. Right? Those are the mentality of our men. Oh, you're not gonna watch, you're not gonna watch NBA, brother. A which a which team you top? A which team you bring? A Manchester United are my team, you know. And and, and and these are the things that we glorify in. But that will not rise up our people. We need to deal with the right, the real problems in our society. Put on the damn video game and start watching the blinking sports. It's not going to do anything to clean up our homes. Our homes have become disarray. Completely disarrayed. And the black man will do nothing to change that. But we are here today showing the example showing you the way read on and prepare thyself to search Do you see what the bible says the bible says to prepare yourself to search take up a book black man and read search for what the former age put on the blinking video game and start watching the blinking sports and television that's not a pull up your pants pull up your pants to your ears read and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So prepare yourself for the search of your fathers. Your fathers are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, and Christ. Get me, get me, get me Matthew 7, where you talk where Christ say the men of this generation. All we care about is giggle, giggle, giggle. We need to take life serious as men. The future of our people lies in our hand. Read that scripture. What's Luke 7? Luke 7 and 30. Grow up and be a man. Because that's what society haven't taught our men to do. Society have not taught our men to grow up. The, the mind of the man hasn't been grown up. The mind, has the, the mind of our men have not been matured. Because society will not teach our men to grow up. We are in the... We are in the anatomy. We have a man's anatomy, but we don't have the mind of men. Let me, let me not say us, because that's what we are doing over on this side. We're trying to change, to be men, to deal with our real problems in our society. Read the verse again. Read, read, uh, yeah, read Luke 7, 30. Uh, Luke 7, verse 31. And the Lord said, we're on to... Hold on, so the Lord is saying something about our men. Shall not... Where that which pertaineth unto a man. So I just witnessed my sister. That's sinful. God said you don't repent, you're going to die. Right? That's sinful. Well, no, but well, on that day, sister, 
on that day, you're going to feel it by pain with fire. So our women should repent. So nowadays, socially, we are now accept things like women and women kissing in the public. Nobody see a problem with that. Right? Nobody speaks out about that. It's no longer a taboo. It's not being hide. It's people not hiding in the in, 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 in closed door with that anymore. It's right out here in the public. We just see two women just kiss a while ago. What the hell is this? Fire, a fire going come on this earth. And that's a problem when we're speaking about, out against that. Our sisters need to be the daughters of Zion in the earth. So you see the woman, you see once the clothing change, the spirit change. Because one sister, she thinks she had a man. Because she have on the pants. Right? That's confusion. That's an abomination. Read it again from the top. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination. So you hear that, brother? For two man and man and two woman and woman having sexual relationship, God says, that's fire. That's an abomination. And but hold on, brother. You see, if we never out here, you see, if we never out here, we wouldn't speak up against that, you know. So that's a problem. We need to, we as men, brother, we as men, we need to speak out about these things. You understand? Because God said that's an abomination. Get me that in the Bible. Leviticus 20 and 18. 18, 22. Read that. So when the spirit change, when the clothes, in fact, when we deal with the clothes now, we go back there. Oh, we read we, we Deuteronomy 22. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment So the sister, I corrected the sister and the sister said F off F off Because what? We are correcting you The Bible, let's see what the Bible says Read that scripture For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God So one sister in the pants and you see the sister with a, a manly spirit on her. Right? The sister have a manly spirit on her because what? She changed her clothing. Right? Because she what? Nowadays you have what is called butch. Look here, man. We're going to speak out again. We're going to hear deliver God's word. Thus say the Lord. Read. Go to Leviticus 18, 22. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind, it is abomination. Right, go to the next one. We'll give me the other 20, 13. Let's read that. Leviticus 20, verse 13. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with woman with mankind as he lied with a woman. So the Bible says, if a man lied with mankind as he lied with a woman. Or if a woman lie with womankind as she would lie with a man. Read. Both of them have committed an abomination. You hear what God says? That's an abomination. Read. They shall surely be put to death. And that's what's going to come to our people if they don't repent. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. And people who don't speak up against it, God is going to have an issue with you too. Read that verse. Go, go over some. Read that verse. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So the Bible says, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Let's see who the unrighteous is. Be not deceived. Get me Romans 1 when you finish. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's going into lesbianism and homosexuality. Read. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So it says, shall inherit the kingdom of God. So I, I stop the sister to correct her. Because what? I see her doing what the unrighteous they are doing the unrighteousness of God. Right, sorry, doing the, the, the unrighteousness of the world. And what you say, F off. But wait, 
When the fire touch your skin, you are gonna see who are gonna make the have the last laugh. No, get me that in um, what I ask for Romans one, Romans one. In fact, before you get me Romans one, get me that in Second Ezra is what seven, verse fifty something. Feel it with fire. Or nine is what seven and nine, huh? Nine and nine and seven. About twelve or so. Check Second Ezra nine. Yeah, go ahead. Run me for a minute. Yeah, verse, verse 11. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, that's what our people do. Our people hate the laws of God. Our people do not want to live by the sound doctrine of God. So you have the society glorifies a woman and a woman kissing in public. That's an abomination to God. Right. Read. Well, they had yet liberty. So you have, we have liberty to repent. That's what God, Christ, have died for. For us to have liberty to repent. Read. And when as yet place of repentance was open. Because place of repentance is open to the sister. But the sister said, F off. Right? Read. Understood not. So you don't understand the teaching. Our people, we don't comprehend what we are really out here for. You haven't comprehended what we are out here teaching. Right? Because what? Read it again. And they that had loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. So our people really don't understand what repentance is. Our people don't really understand the knowledge that we are bringing out. That this knowledge, once this knowledge, this gospel has been taught, this kingdom is going to burn. That's what is coming. Read on. But despised it. Despise it. We don't want to hear anything about the Sabbath day. Oh, marriage is honorable. To hell with that. Right? Marriage is honorable. A man and a woman. To hell with that. I'm going to kiss in the public another woman. I, a woman kissing another woman in the public. And we try to correct. We get F off. Right? But what God says, read it again. But despised it. That's what, we, what is our problem. We despise the laws of God. Read. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. So the Bible says the same must know it after death by pain. Because guess what God is going to put to death. That's what's going into that lake of fire. The abominable. The whoremongers, those who transgress the commandments. He says, God is going to, uh, you're going to feel it after that, by what? By pain. You're going to feel the pain. Because the things that you have pleasure in today, that is going to cause you to inherit pain and suffering in the kingdom. When the kingdom is, when the kingdom is established. The thing that, call, that thing that you take pleasure in, brother, the sin that you take pleasure in, the Bible says, what? Read it again. The same must know it after death by pain. You're going to feel it by pain. You're going to feel it by pain after death. So it's a serious matter this. Now go back to Romans 1. Romans 1. Let's read that. Romans 1.25. The book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Yeah. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Bible says... Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. So now today, what do, we, what do we worship? We do not worship the one true God. In order to worship God, the Bible says we must worship God in spirit and in truth. What is the spirit and what is the truth? The laws of God. That's the spirit and the truth. But we don't follow God's way. We glorify the creature. Who is the creature? The white man who have given us white Christ, white Jesus. And white Jesus said, come as you are, do what you like. Say what you like, do what you like, live how you like. Right? Where do we get the thought of a woman and a woman in the public kissing? It's television. Who is programming our minds to think that these things are okay? And to live in a society that glorifies transgenders transvestors, homosexuals, lesbians. It's the creature. That's who we worship. Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, 
God gave them up unto vile affection. For a woman and a woman to kiss in the public. Sister, God says that's a vile affection. That's a disgusting thing. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. You see what the Bible says? The women change the natural use of that which is our my brother. We just saw two women in the streets kissing right there. You see what the Bible says? Read it again. For this cause, God gave them into unto, gave them up unto vile affection. God says that's a vile affection. Read. For even their women did change the natural use. So the Bible says even their women have changed the natural use. Read. Into that which is against nature. Which is against nature. Because nature is for a man and a woman to be in a relationship. Nature is that a man has sex with a woman. In fact, before sex comes in, nature is that because we don't even follow nature. Because if we lead a relationship with sex, that's not according to nature. Nature is for you to get to know a woman for the man, for the woman's mind to be as the man's mind. For the woman to learn the laws of God. For the man to learn the laws of God. And for them to join together in unity. That's who God joins together. With a man and a woman who understand the laws of God. Right? That's number one. And for them to what? Consummate. A man and a woman to consummate. That's nature. That's, that's the knowledge of God. Read. Verse 27. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust. Burning in their lust. Now you decide now. It's, no it's, not, no it's not comely. F off, off nigger. That's the attitude. You can't tell me how to live. How dare you tell me how to live? Oh, I'm going deliver to you, deliver to you God's word. But God says, the unrighteous, the abominable, they are going to be burned in the lake of fire. You finish with that? Read on. Continue. Get me, remind me, Revelation 8. When I finish, read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. So you see that? For you to live in today's society and have no problem with seeing homosexuals around. And you being a homosexual, laying up with men. You being a lesbian, laying up with women. I see no, have no problem. You see no issue with that. No problem with that. God says what? What mind do you have? God gave them over to a reprobate mind. That means you have a reprobate mind. And yes, she probably have a church Sunday. And she probably go and, 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 and pray, oh, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me home safely. Right? So read on. To those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness. So that's it. That's it. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Read on. Fornication. So that's a fornication. That's a sexual sin for a woman and a woman to have sexual relations. It's a sexual sin, sister, for a man to have sexual relationship with an animal. It's a sin. It's a fornication for you to have any kind of sex if it's not with your husband. God, God says that's fornication. Read on. Wickedness. Read. Covetousness. Read. Maliciousness. Read. Full of envy. Murder. Are we there? Oh, read on. In Romans 1? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Deceit. Malignity. Whisper. Okay, that's what I want. Let's go to... Hold on. Let me see the last verse. Uh, yeah, 31. For 31? Yeah. Romans chapter 1, verse 31. Without understanding. Covenant breakers. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. Being a lesbian is not a natural affection. Right? That's an invention of men. Being a homosexual is not a natural affection. That's an another invention of men. Read. As someone put that spirit in your, in your mind. Read. Implacable. Unmerciful. Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things. So you say, God is a God of judgment. And God tells us the judgment for someone who commits that sin. Read. Which commit such things are worthy of death. You hear what the Bible says? The Bible says, 
if we commit these sexual sins and abomination, it is worthy of death. So now let's go to that in Revelation. Re Revelation 8. Uh, where is that again? Revelation 20, is it 21 and 8? The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. It says, you read the abominable? We go back to the point about abominable as well. Read that. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. Abominable is what? Homosexuality. Lesbianism, that's abomination. Woman in pants, that's abomination. Right? Disobedience to parents, that's abomination. Not honoring your mother and a father, that's abomination. It says, and the abominable, read. And murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So the, the Bible says, what is going to be the judgment for that kind of thing? Which is the second death. Read it about the brimstone and fire. Read it again. Shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.